Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm here with Phil Spencer. Phil is the new head of Xbox. Phil, congratulations. Thanks, Larry. I want to talk about you and your role. You've been at Microsoft for 26 years. Can you give us a little story on the journey that brought you to this spot? It's like from the beginning of time or right. something. Uh, yeah, I started in 1988 as a software development intern, as a programmer from the University of Washington, right across the bridge. Uh, I've always worked in the consumer software space, worked on early video for Windows and kind of internal technology. That's how I grew up here. Mm -hmm. When Xbox started, Ed Freeze brought me down to run a studio, Studio X, uh, working with a lot of great game creators. Uh, you know, I kind of grew up at this company. I started when I was 20 and uh, it's been an amazing ride. Always focused on technology, always focused on consumer. But a lot of the, uh, lot of the audience may know some of the games you actually worked on. Can we talk about those? Yeah, you know, when I started, it was an amazing lineup of uh, partners that I had. I'll start with Peter Molyneux, and we were working on uh, Fable and BC. Regretfully, BC never became a project. I was working with Brian Reynolds mm -hmm. from Civilization fame. We were doing a game called Rise of Nations, and mm -hmm. up winning Game of the Year, which is a fantastic game. John Tobias, Larry Holland, a bunch of just amazing creators that helped me as I kind of formed my ability. I've been playing games since very early on, but seeing how a game is built mm -hmm. and seeing all of that you learn through that process was was critical to frankly the the role I have today. Now I, 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 I this is a tough question because I know it's going to be tough for you to answer. What is your favorite game that you've worked on? I mean I know you've worked on so many. I know it's tough to answer. You know I, it, it isn't actually because to me games are experiences that you have with people and and with whether it's family or friends and I think that 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 social experience of we did something together, I remember when we did, like that, the memories that are built. And there was a game from a good friend of mine, uh, Clayton, uh, the game is called uh, Voodoo Vince. I love that game. It's the first game my daughters and I finished together, mm -hmm. where my daughters really felt like they were part of us solving the puzzles in the game. And you know, you think about all that, I've worked on Halos, I've, I've worked on Gears of War, I've worked on Forces. You know, games are just like amazing, fantastic games. But it, to me, it's really about the memories that are created, the fun that you have when you play games. And, and I'll always remember Voodoo Vince and finishing it with my daughters. And that great soundtrack. That was an amazing, people should go find that soundtrack. <laughs> It is incredible. I, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, you talked about the game, so what has kept you, Phil Spencer, here at Microsoft for 26 years? That's a long time. You know, the, the thing to think about when you think about Microsoft over the last 26 years, when I started here, this company was less than 5,000 people. Yeah. And with the recent Nokia acquisition, I think we're, we're north of 100,000 people now. So you know, I started as a programmer, always built, kind of born out of technology and how technology can impact what we're trying to do with consumers and our fans. This company has changed tremendously in the 26 years. I feel like I've had multiple careers inside of the same company. So, you know, even for me, when you say 26 years, I have to check myself a little bit. Has it really been 26 years? And have I really been doing the same thing? No, right? The, I'll say fundamentally though, this is a company that wants to do things that change the world. And they have the resource and the ambition to do that, whether it's with Xbox or any of the products that we build. The discussions I've had with Satya about this role and what Xbox means, we have the ambition to build the best gaming console for fans. Gaming console plays the best games, has the best entertainment. And to be at a, in a company that has, again, the resource, the ambition, and the drive to go make that happen, that's incredibly motivating to somebody like me. You talked about some of the titles you worked on for Xbox, but what are some of the memorable moments for you in the business? You know, launches uh, of consoles are always a really interesting time. I thought about the launch of the original Xbox. I think about when we did Connect and all the questions about, will this really work? You can stand in front of this device and it's going to see how you move. Uh, the launch of Xbox One, but I'll say one that was really monumental for me was the launch of Xbox Live. Mm -hmm. You know, as we, we launched the console, people remember there was this port on the back that we weren't really using for online gameplay. We knew it was going to light up later. We had a bunch of games lined up, NFL Fever, Mech Assault, Halo 2, things that we knew that were going to rely on Xbox Live, but we didn't really know that Xbox Live was going to work the way and turn into what it's turned into today. And that feedback loop that you found between the game creators and the console and the platform team, it's really what I'm striving for now in bringing all those teams together to create those magical moments where the creators are impacting the platform, the platform is pushing on the creators. It's a unique capability we have and I think leads to the best product for fans and for creators alike. What games does Phil Spencer gravitate towards? If I were to go over to your house, what am I going to see pinned on your Xbox One on the home screen? <laughs> if you go in my office right now, I have this massive limbo poster right behind my desk. I right think game. it must be six by four or something. It's huge. You know, I, 
For me, games have always been about fun and about telling stories and the accomplishment that happens. It's why I love games like Limbo and Max and Curse of Brotherhood. We've got a game we haven't announced yet. We're going to show on stage at E3, but I was looking at yesterday, which is another just fantastic setting and really kind of a soulful feeling to the game. I just I love the 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 art of telling game. Brothers was one of my, like probably my game of the year last year because of the feeling that you had in that ending, which frankly was one of the most emotional points I've ever had in no a game. Spoilers. No spoilers. No but spoilers. But you have to if you've started Brothers, you absolutely have to finish. Um, you know, that, to me, those are the kind of games that really that, that I, I just love and and are why I'm in this industry. Phil Spencer, head of Xbox. Thanks for your time today, Phil. Thank you, Larry.